This is a quest guide for a nameless village. The quest that you get from Captain Bronze right after you do the sovereign quest from him. With this quest, we're going to have to head to the eastern edge of Vermund to uncover what we can find at this little nameless village. Now, starting from Vernworth, you're going to have to make your way out the gate from the northeast, and you're just going to progress on the road, and you're going to make your way all the way to the, you know, the nameless village over here, marked on the map. So once you're getting near the nameless village, you will notice that the road here is somewhere it is blocked, and you'll see that you can't go through because it's like, you know, rocks and stuff. So instead, you're going to double back until you can take a path down here through the greenery. And this will take you through the eastern forest like this. And you'll basically follow a path that's going to lead you back to the road over here. And you'll follow this road into the village. Your main point is to actually get to the northern end of the village. So up here at the old noble manor, this is the location we need to go. And this is what it looks like over here. You'll see this is the manor and we're going to go up to the front. And we'll speak with the man inside by the fireplace. This is the Thief Maester. So if you're playing as the Thief Colossus, you'll actually want to come here and do this quest as soon as possible to unlock your, your like major skill. You'll see he'll tell you that you're worthy of inheriting his ultimate technique. And this will give you the Legends Opus, right? So this is the very first time you meet him. If you go into your items over here, you can actually unlock the skill. It will show in your abilities for the Thief Colossus to use the Blades of the Pyre skill. You can go ahead and use the scroll and this will unlock it so that when you go to the vocation guild, you can equip the skill Blades of the Pyre on your Thief Claws. Your pawn will also be able to use this if your pawn is a Thief Claws. Now you're going to leave the old manor and we're going to go to the right. And you'll see right over here, there is a dip in the ground, a hole in the ground with a letter. So this location on the map right here, you can't get lost, super simple. You're going to go ahead and go down this letter. Once you get in here, you'll see a cutscene will play and yeah, we've got some parkour to do. I hope you guys are ready for some parkour. So when you get to the first area, you're going to jump across like this, then you're going to jump onto this one, and then on this one, and then quite simply you're just going to go across like that. When you proceed along, you'll see there's two pathways, one that goes directly up. If you have a jumping high skill, I don't know if other classes get it. I know the mage has has this. I can just straight up levitate across here. <laughs> Feels broken. There is a chest here at my feet, and yeah, that's how you could reach it because it's a very high like jump and you get the gazer's hood and I can just jump across again like that. Isn't that cool? For the next parkour course, you'll see there is an, an obstacle in, in your way like this. And this time you have to avoid getting hit by the, I guess, you know, the, the sack of rocks. It looks like I'm just going to fly right past it. <laughs> And then you'll see you'll make your way to a door that you can go ahead and open and this will let you meet Srail. You'll be asking this guy about the decoy sovereign. From here, you'll get Dara's Bill of Arrest, which you're going to go ahead and return to Captain Bront. You'll also get the Pilfer's Handbook, which is a, another skill that you can use for thieves called the Formless Faint. And you can go ahead and you can learn this immediately as well. It's, it's like it just unlocks the skill for you, like I said previously. So you unlock two thief skills by doing this quest. Though I should say before you leave, you should explore the doorway to the left because there are a ton of chests over here and there's, you know, some good loot. Like this one has like 2,200 gold in it and you can just loot everything else too. And now you'll see we'll have to return to Vernworth to Captain Bront. So make your way back to Vernworth and the Star Drop Inn. As usual, he's probably not going to be here because it's daytime. You will have to sit on the bench on the outside over here, the one with the red rag, and then go ahead and doze off to change time. Doze off until it's nighttime and you'll see he'll appear literally right in front of you and then you can go ahead and speak with him. Give him Barrow's Bill of Arrest. And that's how you can complete the Nameless Village quest. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.